Hi, in this video I will show you how to prepare something like this, a connection of two pipes and I will show you how to do it so that these two pipes are separate models. Ok, I'll go to the new file and we will start by creating a sketch on the XY plane. We will create two circles to make a pipe based on these circles. Ok, and we add an extrusion of 100 mm and we have the first pipe. And now to create a second pipe. And in order for the second pipe to be separate body, we need to create new body. And here we create a new sketch. I will create a sketch on the XZ plane. And here I will create a guideline that will be used to create reference plane so that later I can create a sketch on this plane and add a pipe. And at this stage by creating a line to create a reference plane, we will also determine the angle at which the second pipe will be. And here I choose to draw line. For now I will draw line in such a way that the beginning of this line coincides with the y-axis. So that this point lies on the y-axis. Now I will add the length of this line and here I will enter 125 millimeters. Then I'll add the distance between this point and this point and here I will enter 30 millimeters. And now I will select the angle dimension, I select this line and the y-axis and write down the angle as 135 degrees. Of course we can set the angle here as we need. I close the sketch and this line determines the angle at which the second pipe will be made and also determines the length of this pipe. And now we are going to create a reference plane so that this plane is created at this point and is perpendicular to this line. I select this point, select this line and select this command and here I select normal to edge. A plane has been created, I select this plane, I choose to create a sketch on this plane. Now I switch to this view and I create a sketch of another pipe here. Ok, two circles as before and let's add dimensions. 40 here, 50 here, ok, close the sketch and now I select extrude and I create an extrusion here to the face and I select this face as the face to extrude to. I click ok. And this is how we got something like this. We have two separate bodies defining individual pipes. And here in this case it may be useful to create a hole in this pipe. And to do something like this we can approach it in a few different ways. However it seems to me that a relatively simple way could be to do it in the way that I will show you in a moment. But first I will suppress unnecessary geometries and activate this solid to create a new sketch in this solid. I will create a sketch on this face. Select this face and choose create sketch. Of course we could just create this sketch on this plane, it shouldn't matter at all. Here I select the reference geometry, I select this edge and I create a circle in such a way that the center of this circle coincides with the center of this circle and so that the second point of the circle lies on this circle. Close the sketch and now we have this sketch but this sketch is in this body and if I wanted to use this sketch to create a hole in this solid I cannot do it because when I choose to create a pocket operation and here even if I select through all, the hole in this solid will not be created because this sketch belongs to this solid. And we can only create operations that will apply to this solid. 
but if we wanted to use this sketch in this solid, we can simply copy this sketch from this solid to this solid, and to do that, select this sketch, press Ctrl plus C, here select only copy the appropriate sketch, OK, click somewhere here, press Ctrl plus V and now this sketch is outside these solids and in order to be able to use this sketch to make a hole in this solid, this sketch must be inside this body and to do this grab and drag this sketch to this body and now this sketch is in this body and now based on this sketch we can make a hole in this solid. To do this, select the sketch, select the pocket operation, and here we can select the up to face operation. However, sometimes this may not work. I select this face and here I would like a pocket to be made. However, this pocket was not made correctly. If I click OK and turn off the visibility of this solid, this pocket is not visible here. So I'm going to press Ctrl plus Z to undo this operation. And now we are just going to create a pocket operation of the specified length. Here I'm just going to increase the length of this pocket until there is a hole in this solid. And here we can also just enter the value 125 because that was the length of this line that we used to create this pipe. And this way everything looks good here, I click OK, and in this way we have created a connection of two pipes in which the two pipes are separate bodies. It's not just one single solid, we can export it as two single models. And that's all for today, and if you want to learn the basics of 3D modeling in FreeCAD, you can take part in my FreeCAD course for beginners, and the link to the course is in the description of this video. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to this channel.